Good morning, New Canaan High School. I'm Jack Dayhill coming to you live from the NCTV studio. Today is Friday, March 24th, and a day B. And I'm Austin Pelly. Before we get to this week's announcements, please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let's start things off on a very exciting note. Tonight is the Senior Prom Fashion Show. The show begins at 7 p.m. and tickets are $20. Everyone should come since the proceeds fund are post-prom. Come support your fellow classmates as they strut down the runway. And if you can't make it, don't worry, since NCTV will be live streaming the show on Channel 78. Now between the snow days and the upcoming testing, we thought we'd update you with the latest schedule. Next Thursday, March 30th, the sophomores have cat testing in the afternoon. For all other students, yes, that does mean a half day. Woo! Well, except for you seniors in the senior internship program who have a quick meeting right after school. Juniors, mark your calendar because on April 5th, you have the in-school SAT. And due to some well-needed snow days, unfortunately, the third quarter will be extended to Friday, April 7th. And since this is the last day before the vacation, grades will be due Wednesday after break, April 19th. And finally, the most disappointing news I've ever delivered to you guys, the last day of school has been extended to June 20th. So hopefully there will be no more snow days to further delay our summer from kicking off. Austin, that is actually very upsetting. Um, in other news, the 50th anniversary of the NCHS scholarship drive is approaching, and this year, the committee decided to change things up a little bit. Instead of the usual scholarship drive, there is now a color run on April 29th. Two races will take place, a kid's color dash and a 5K color run, or if you're like me, walk. The race costs $30, and all proceeds go to the NCHS Scholarship Foundation. Be sure to register online at this tag here below by April 28th. Next Monday, there will be a school-wide assembly to go over the details of the color run. Campus will be closed and will be running the connection schedule. Teachers of period one will be taking attendance before the class heads to the assembly, so be sure to be there. The Booster Spirit Store has gotten in a bunch of new merchandise, including NC Rams license plate holders, black rain ponchos, Under Armour quarter zips, and stadium blankets. These new items will be now offered in the store as well as last year's merchandise. The store accepts cash and checks only and is open every Friday in March, including today and next week on the 31st. Make sure to get some NC Spirit wear before the spring sports get started. I know I'll be stopping by to get some apparel, Austin, and rep the Rams in my last few months as one of them. Now, the class of 2018 is holding a canned food drive. Boxes are at the front of the school as well as near the gym entrances. Collections started a few weeks ago, but it ends soon on April 7th. The juniors have partnered with the Lower Food Bank of, uh, I'm sorry, the Food Bank of Lower Fairfield County and hopes to support families in need. Don't forget to drop off your canned or non-perishable food items. And another charitable event is happening again tomorrow. The annual Pure Vita Dodgeball Tournament is this Saturday at 3.30 in the NCHS gym. To enter, your team must have six people, three boys and three girls, and it costs $20 for each person to enter, the proceeds of which go to the fundraising event of Feed My Starving Children food packing event in May. But wait, Austin, there's one more charity event to talk about. This really warms my heart. Charity Link will be hosting their annual Coffee House concert next Wednesday, March 29th at 7 p.m. in the Wagner Room. The concert features a variety of student artwork throughout the show, including paintings, photographs, and even short films. It costs $5 to enter, and all proceeds will be donated to Doctors Without Borders. Any interested musicians, poets, or artists, please contact Ms. Weeks, Emma St. Raymond, or Chase Pellegrini for more information. Well, Jack, at least I have the coffee house to look forward to since spring seems to be nowhere in sight. I know exactly what you mean, Austin. Spring officially started on Monday, but I'm wondering where the spring temperatures are. Well, only one person knows. Let's go to Annie Minalia for all things weather. Annie, how's it look? Well, Austin, not too good unless you like rain. It was a cold week, and we're about to see some precipitation, so let's see what this weekend has in store for us. Good morning, NCHS, and long time no see. I'm Annie Minalia, back to give you this your weekend's weather. Although it's been a very windy week, it has been warming up on the East Coast, so let's see if it will be a trend into the weekend. The April showers are coming a bit early this year, starting with today. Well, we'll see them right about now, but it will clear up later in the afternoon, so don't worry. It'll be a high of 50, and we'll have a low of 42. My advice to you spring athletes is to bring an extra pair of socks because it'll be wet all throughout Saturday with warmer temperatures in the mid-50s with a low of 37. 
It looks like we won't see any more snow. However, you'll want to keep that rain jacket on hand because this theme of rain will continue on to Sunday with a high of 42 and a low of just 37. I'm just happy that New Canaan is officially starting to warm up after a long winter with a lot of snow. Jack and Austin, if you have any plans, I recommend staying dry indoors. Thanks, Annie. With all the rain we're supposed to get this weekend, I wonder how our spring sports teams are going to fare. Yeah, Jack, and although my scrimmage will probably get rained out, I wonder how the rest of our, our spring teams are doing. For the look into the previews, let's go to Quinn McMahon for the first time in quite a while. Quinn, how's it looking? Well, Austin, I can't tell you much about your game because I'm at a desk and not in front of a green screen. However, spring preview previews are still among us. For the first time in a while, I am Quinn McMahon. There's a lot to talk about from the end of some winter sports to the start of spring previews. So enough of the hellos and to the Rams sports report. The boys hockey team started the state tournament on fire, defeating Greenwich 4-0 in the first round and Glastonbury 3-1 in the quarterfinals. The two wins gave the Rams the opportunity every Connecticut high school hockey player dreams about, playing a game at Ingalls Rink at Yale University. The semifinals were set for the four-seeded Rams against the one-seeded Northwest Catholic Lions. The boys were in a hole for most of the game as they could never seem to find a lead. Despite goals from Gunnar Granito, Brooks Gamble, and Tyler Hill, the Rams fell to the Lions 6-3, putting an end to a long but very successful season. The guys finished with an overall record of 19-5-1, but brought New Canaan Hockey back to Yale for the first time since 2011. Nice job, guys. As mentioned on last week's broadcast, the Rams in the pool captured their second straight boys swimming and diving championship, Monday the 13th at Wesleyan University in Middletown. The state championship is New Canaan's 12th in program history and its 10th in the last 16 years. Wow. It was also the second for head coach Dave Fine, who took over the program in 2012. With a state championship already under their belt, the boys took part in state opens this past weekend as senior Edward Rudman struck gold in the 50-yard freestyle and sev several Rams delivered clutch performances as New Canaan's swimming and diving team took third place at Yale's Kip Huth Pool. Congrats on a fantastic season, guys. With winter sports now over, we turn our attention to spring sports. The boys' baseball team is coming off a rough season last year, going 7-16, but senior captains Matt Berger and Robbie Jones are looking to lead the team to a successful season this year. Be sure to look out for senior Mike Spagnus, a key pitcher coming off an injury, and Patrick Diamond at shortstop. The boys' first game will be on April 1st at Greenwich. Softball is gearing up and ready to start playing with their first game against Coggenshog April 1st. The girls are coming off a decent season last year with a record of 8-8. Eight and eight. Be sure to look out for the Keshin Twins, entering their last season at NCHS before heading off to college. The team is also led by junior star pitcher Jillian Kane. The girls are looking towards a winning season, so good luck, ladies. With tryouts now over, girls lacrosse will take to the field tomorrow as they will face Wilton in their first scrimmage of the year. The girls are currently ranked second in the FCAC poll, only behind Darianne. Aside from the losses of key seniors Catherine Granito and Sammy Stewart, Captain Campbell Armstrong will look towards a great season with the help of junior Gianna Bruno and the sideline help of Captain Ellery Barron, who is out from a torn ACL. Last but not least, the boys' lax team had a fantastic season last year, finishing 19-3. As defending state champs, the boys are led by Drew Morris, James Frere, Jackson Apel, and Ryan O'Connell. The boys' first scrimmage of the year was yesterday as they took down Iona Prep, and tomorrow the boys will really put their skills to the test as a very skilled Niskayuna team comes to town. Lastly, I hope everyone remembers that the Sweet 16 for March Madness started yesterday and finishes tonight, with the Elite Eight following over the weekend. Even if your bracket is busted like mine is, I would still tune in because it's March and anything can happen. I wouldn't want to miss it. For now, this has been Quinn McMahon. Until next time, NCHS. Thank you, Quinn. Before we go, we would like to wish a very happy birthday to Elena Abramowitz, Olivia German, Josiah Jones, and Hugo Potter. Also, if you have any announcements, be sure to email us at nctv78 at gmail.com or tweet at us at nctv78 a week prior to the announcements. This has been Austin Pelly. And I'm Jack Dayhill. If you have time over the weekend, be sure to check out Channel 78 and watch Boys Basketball versus St. Joe's in Greenwich. We leave you now with some footage of the Carriage Barn Art Show. Have a great weekend, NCHS.